This first Skeletivity episode introduces Fractal Big Bang Theory. What happened before the Big Bang? What caused the Big Bang? What is dark matter? How did the galaxies form? The universe is filled with fascinating objects, such as quasars and pulsars, nova and supernova, gamma ray bursts and cosmic rays, stars and galaxies. By some estimates, the universe contains 1 times 10 to the 23rd stars. That's a 1 followed by 23 zeros. Why are there so many stars in the universe? What are stars? What purpose do they serve? Why do great balls of fire fuse hydrogen into helium and radiate energy for billions of years? Is it just to provide light, warmth, and other forms of energy to human-scale ecosystems? Watch this video for a few more moments, and these questions will be answered by the new scientific paradigm, Fractal Physics Theory. which incorporates fractal geometry concepts into physics. Larger objects are composed of self-similar smaller objects. Scale is relative and infinity. A beautiful symmetry exists between tiny nuclei and even tinier electrons and enormous stars and large planets. Between a nucleus radiating neutrino energy and a star radiating photonic energy. Between a neutron disintegrating, expelling a proton and an electron, and a star exploding as a supernova. Watch and witness quantum cosmic unification. To understand what caused the Big Bang, we move up in scale for a better view. We need to visualize a super cosmic scale planet orbiting a supercosmic scale star. Start with the Earth, a cosmic scale planet, orbiting the Sun, a cosmic scale star, at its current distance of one astronomical unit. Increase the Earth-Sun distance to 4 times 10 to the 23rd astronomical units. That is 6 million trillion light years. Keep the same number of atoms in the Earth and in the Sun but increase the mass of each atom by 1 times 10 to the 57. This increases the mass of both the Earth and the Sun by 1 times 10 to the 57. Near the surface of this supercosmic scale planet exists a titanic scale uranium deposit with 4% cosmic scale uranium-235 nuclei, a fissionable isotope. A supercosmic scale comet or asteroid explodes by this titanic scale uranium vein. The intense pressure immediately compresses the titanic scale uranium to supercritical reactor conditions. In less than one microsecond, relative to the titanic scale, 7 times 10 to the 28, cosmic scale uranium 235 nuclei fission, releasing as many cosmic scale neutrons, cosmic scale gamma rays, and cosmic scale fission products. All surrounding cosmic scale atoms vaporize. This titanic scale gas, under tremendous pressure, explodes as a cosmic scale atomic bomb. From within this explosion, the human scale observes how a Big Bang moves. This natural nuclear fission explosion measures 500 megatons relative to the titanic scale. This same Big Bang energy measures 2.5 times 10 to the 75 joules relative to the human scale. 1.5 milliseconds into this explosion relative to the titanic scale measures 18 trillion years relative to the human scale. The fractal Big Bang universe 
is 1,000 times older than the standard Big Bang Theory is. Our universe did not start from a singularity, a point of zero volume and infinite density. In the fractal physics paradigm, we no longer wonder what happened before time began, how the whole universe came into being out of nothingness, what powered the Big Bang, that not even nothing exists beyond the edge of the Big Bang. Will there be a Big Crunch? Are there multiverses with different physical laws? In the fractal physics paradigm, we accept space and time, matter and energy, the laws of physics and chemistry, appear to have always existed. The fractal universe always was and always will be. The fractal universe fills everything, everywhere. The laws of physics are the same, everywhere, at all scales. In the fractal physics paradigm, we look to the stars to study their atoms. We peer deep inside radioactive material through femtometer apertures at femtosecond shutter speeds to view the stars and galaxies within. We look to all cosmic scale objects and try and find their self-similar counterparts at the quantum scale. What an amazing precipice we now stand upon. Discoveries in physics will abound if fortune hears a who. Well then, what is dark matter? First, consider stars have mass and radiate energy, undergo fusion, which alters their chemical composition, have masses ranging over two orders of magnitude, exist individually in binary and more complex systems, explode, releasing tremendous energy in a supernova, are found in galaxies. Consider nuclei in the process of beta decay, have mass and radiate energy, undergo decay, which alters their nucleon composition, have masses ranging over two orders of magnitude, exist individually in binary and more complex systems when absorbing neutrons or involving K-shell electrons. Disintegrate, releasing tremendous energy in a neutrino, are found in radioactive particles. The stars we see are just the tip of the iceberg. We see cosmic scale fission products, cosmic scale neutrons that are in the process of cosmic scale beta decay. There exist so many more cold dark stars, the stable cosmic scale atoms. Cosmic scale atoms and their enormous electromagnetic forces are manifest in the data modern physics calls dark matter. So how did the galaxies form? Fissioning nuclei almost always split into two fission products of unequal mass plus a few neutrons. Newborn fission products appear as energetic, positively charged ions. As the Big Bang explosion expands, it cools, and some positively charged cosmic scale ions catalyze condensation of titanic scale gases into titanic scale liquid drops and titanic scale solid particles like in Wilson cloud chambers. Nuclear explosion clouds contain radioactive particles and water vapor droplets. Spiral galaxies are spinning, crystallizing titanic scale particles of cosmic scale uranium dioxide, cosmic scale fission products, and many cosmic scale neutrons. Galaxies have stars moving in random motion the direction of which is practically self-similar to particles suspended in this fluid. Elliptical galaxies are titanic scale water droplets that have captured many cosmic scale neutrons and some cosmic scale fission products. 
In 2004, I realized for the first time that our pre-solar system was a single cosmic scale neutron. Not until late 2010 did I notice the mass of the solar system divided by 127 pounds equals 127 pounds divided by the mass of a neutron. Human scale masses are in a golden ratio with quantum and cosmic scale masses. This episode was produced by Z23 Studios. Please go to Scalativity.com to read the five initial fractal physics theory articles published online in the Fundamental Journal of Modern Physics. Scalativity.com also offers three groundbreaking articles available nowhere else. Until the next episode, this is Leonard Melanoski inviting you to help me advance physics.